So we know current separately and we know magnet separately. Not so connected. Till one man called Oyster in a lecture noticed something extremely fascinating. He noticed that there was a current carrying conductor, right? We all know what this is, a wire with some current going through it. Put it across a battery, there'll be some current. This we've done in the previous chapter. All of a sudden he noticed that the compass needle next to this wire started to turn. And we, that was not expected. And we all know that this happens. When does it happen? When does a compass needle start deflecting from its original position? Yes, when you take a bar magnet next to it, right? But there is no bar magnet here. There is a wire carrying current and this magnetic compass be is beginning to turn next to that wire. So this was very fascinating. And he started playing with this. He started taking further and further away. The effect wasn't much. He brought it closer and closer. It started turning more. Then he switched off the power and all of a sudden it went back to the old position it points to, which is north and south as it always does. Now this was very fascinating. Okay, He began to realize something very, very important. And what was that? Somehow, a current carrying conductor was behaving just like a magnet would. That's fascinating because we thought these two are separate. It was a moment just like Newton realized when the apple that falls down is the same thing as the moon falling into the earth. Somehow two things that were thought to be not connected have suddenly become connected. And that's one of the places where science makes a huge progress. So what you see now, a current carrying conductor behaves very similarly to a magnet. So let's start playing with it even more. So let us take a current carrying wire and let us say that, you know, there are some charges going through it. We all know that they're going in some direction. So we would say the current is flowing in that particular direction. Imaginary positive charges. If that were, the tr that were true, then if I were to turn this wire this way, such that the wire is coming right at you, with the current flowing right at you, then let's imagine what would happen. If I were to take a compass and keep it in various points, he found something very, very fascinating. That the compass points in a direction that's tangential to an imaginary circle. Now that means what? That these field lines, like we define it, how do we define a field line? The direction in which the magnetic compass points at that particular point. The north pole of the compass points at that particular point. So you keep doing this, he, you know, he started connecting those points and he found a nice circle. You take it farther away and draw it, you get one more circle. You go closer and closer, you have cl circles that are closer and smaller. You keep doing this, you realize that a current carrying conductor creates a magnetic field around it. In other words, it has an effect just like a magnet. Then, what do we do now? To represent this in a very simple manner, he gave what's called a thumb rule, right? Having your right hand, he said, if a current is going, let's say, upwards, right? You create a wire, the current's going upwards. Then, if I point with my thumb to the direction of the current, and if I curl my fingers, then the direction in which I curl my fingers gives me the direction of the magnetic field line. That's, that's really useful. A very simple way to imagine a magnetic field because of a straight current carrying conductor. Now, what's most interesting here is the fact that not that we can find the direction of it, which is pretty easy to do using your right hand thumb rule, but the fact that all of a sudden, two things that were separate. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Baiju's, the learning app today.